Hello everyone, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel, Tuning Into Love. Welcome Scorpios to your monthly forecast. I'm going to tune into love to your higher self, to creator source energy and deliver a message, whatever message you're meant to hear at this time. So thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate your energy, your time, and the opportunity to deliver these messages. So thank you for being you. I'm going to do a five card spread of your current energy and we're going to do clarifiers and then we'll do some oracle cards to just receive some affirmation, guidance, and wisdom moving forward. Okay, you guys. So thank you so much. I'm just going to shuffle it here for a moment. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can find that information listed on my website at crystallin.love. You can also connect with me on my Patreon or my Instagram or my Facebook or any other link I have listed down there below um, if you feel guided or drawn. So thank you guys so much. Okay, I'm feeling you, Scorpio. I'm feeling you. I love Scorpios, which is uh, interesting because I've had quite a few in my life, both uh, all different aspects of Scorpio. <laughs> very intense, very intense people. But you know what I love about you, Scorpios, is that you are so honest and authentic and real and in, I just am so intuitive. You guys know, always know what's going on. And others may not think you know, but you always know. And I love that about you. You're just so intelligent. And, you know, there's it's it's a very strong energy to master. So I have a lot of respect for Scorpios because I, I feel like it's a, a more challenging um, energy to embody as opposed to like the Gemini. You know, we're more lighthearted and just kind of airy and, and all of that. So you guys are deep. And I love the score. I've have very I have a lot of Scorpio friends and family. And each one has deeply impacted my life, like in a very significant way, good and bad. <laughs> so, wow, on the bottom of the deck, we have rebuild. This is the tower. Okay, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm feeling, you know what I'm feeling from this is it's like a necessary tower shakeup. It's almost like something you already saw coming. So it's like you're prepared. You're, it's not throwing you off your foundation in a sense, but it's, it's like more of a catalyst for your spiritual growth, your evolution. It's like, you know, this is the time to grow and expand. And so it's kind of like, it's not comfortable to experience, but at the same time, it's like you, you've been prepared for it is kind of what I'm feeling. So let's, let's just see what's going on in your current energy. Nine of swords, darkest fears. So I see again with this card, it's the nine of swords. This is a psychic tarot of the heart by John Holland. It's like an Oracle deck. And it's, I love this deck because it's about truly connecting with your innermost self, your higher self, your authentic self, first and foremost, really, truly understanding and learning what it means to love yourself unconditionally. And as we're breaking out of fear consciousness and truly embodying the love that we are and allowing, you know, letting go of resistance and allowing the love to just keep continue nurturing the love in our lives and allowing it to fill us and opening our hearts. It's like, as we're doing that, our deepest, darkest fears come up from the depths, you know, and our mind any sort of um, thoughts or beliefs or programs that are rooted in fear come to light. And, you know, it's like the moons are here around his head, but it's like illuminated. It's like illumination. It's like helping you see what you need to see in order to truly break through. So even though it's uncomfortable, even though it causes disharmony in a sense, it like has a purpose and it's like, you know it. And so you're on it. You're, you're like committed to breaking through this, whatever it is and gaining the wisdom. It's like helping you become masterful in your own life. And look at this of your own mental realm of really taking the lead in your life. And then here we have the emperor lead taking the lead. This is the emperor. Number four, this is your internal expectations. Like what you're really focused on in your intentions, which is really taking the lead in your own life. And I think this is beautiful. It's that strength of your higher self, having your back and helping you make the decisions you need to make in order to align with what is true for you, even if they're hard decisions to make. 
you know, uh, giving you the power and strength within you to release whatever is holding you back or compromising your foundation, your stability, your security, your way of life, your well-being. And not just you, but those that you care about and love as well. You know, helping you speak your truth, helping you truly embody, you know, the wisdom. There's a lot of blue in here. It's like dark blue. It's very solid, secure, comforting. It's very clear energy. It's, it brings peace. It brings healing, even though the catalyst that creates the peace is, is a challenging, very strong energy to have to face. It's like you are this emperor destined to always become this great leader. And so the emperor faces it all in order for him to be the emperor. He's, you know, become self mastered. He's experienced all the dark, all the light and found his balance within that, you know, his purpose within that and how to lead his empire rooted in the foundation of love for the highest good of all in a way that, you know, brings him great joy and peace of mind and, fulfillment into his mind body soul through knowing that the people he loves and cares about feel feel safe and secure and that they're able to express who they really are you know and to be free and to contribute their beautiful energy in a way that benefits themselves and others so you're really breaking through something pretty deep here and as a Scorpio I mean you're going deep but if, but the deeper you go, the more self mastery you gain. And so you feel that very well earned empowerment and it really allows you to manifest whatever kind of life that you want to, that your soul is guiding you towards right here with the three of wands, take the lead. Darkest fears lead, take the lead is like leader here, Scorpio, you know, it's time to really embrace your leadership. In, in your own life, you know, being the true leader of your own path and allowing your soul to guide you and, you know, beginning to think about the future and strategizing and how you want to move forward and, you know, allowing yourself to be patient for signs from your higher self, you know, waiting for the, the, the signs and synchronicities to take the next step because, you know, you're being guided so you can let go of worries or doubts or fears or any of that. And you know, you can trust that every day, every moment, like your higher self's going to tell you what the next step is and it's going to prepare you for the next and it's going to help you see a little farther and, you know, what's coming in and where you need to go and all of that. So it's making that choice, you know, to align with your higher self and follow it regardless of what anyone else has to say about it because you know that it's aligned with the highest good of all. So you don't need to defend yourself or prove yourself or gain approval or permission to make your decisions. Your permission, you give yourself permission to trust and follow the guidance of your soul. And that suits you very well. That suits you very well. Okay. So I love it. You're going to love it. That's a very empowering feeling. I don't, yeah. Scorpios. I mean, it's what you, it's, it's, it's very suiting. Okay. So the eight of pentacles here is the advice. This is this is your higher self asking you to dedicate time and energy to your, you know, what it is within you that you consider a gift or a talent, something you want to nurture that is in connection with your soul, that your soul just longs to express and create. And it would do it over and over all the time. It would do it for free. It would do it for fun. It would do it if, you know, for any reason. And it's like aligning with your foundation, your finances, like finding ways for you is as you focus on what you love to do, the ideas will begin to flow. You know, your higher self spirit will guide you in creating time and space for you to focus on, you know, your gifts and your talents. If you ask for it, if you choose to dedicate that energy, you know, instead of being in, you know, your head with fears and thoughts and stress and all of that. Now you have, you know, the open, time to dedicate solely to mastering your own skills and being able to share those with the world. So it's something that will give you life and stability and confidence. And, um, it's what you were always meant to do. So the, the obstacles will be cleared. It's that internal choice to really align. Okay. So the four of wands is what it's aligning to. Look at that, this beautiful stability, harmony, balance, feeling very content in your home, in your environment, 
um, balance with others, like your close friends and family, like there's just an energy of resonance and celebration and, you know, harmony coming together and working together and live, you know, life. It's like doing life with those you love. There's this beautiful energy of just joy radiating where you're able to do what you love and also participate with others in the same way. It's like this beautiful breakthrough of, you know, from stress, you know, to really taking the lead in your life and then feeling that, you know, relief and beautiful harmony come in. So the tower here is the energy of rebuilding, you know, allowing whatever is built on a foundation of fear is eventually going to crumble. So no matter what, you know, when we dedicate our time and energy to what is truly right for us, we can build on something, you know, the four of wands is rebuilding that foundation based on love, knowing that it doesn't matter even if you have to start over because it's rooted in love, it's only going to grow and become more stable over time. You don't have to worry about towers being built and deception and manipulation and, sh you know, shady work, so to speak. It's like, you know, it's solid, even if it's, you know, it's about being humble and, and grateful for the qualities of love and, and being able to have that true connection with others that you can trust others. Because I know that's, you know, that is, that is what creates that solid foundation, the trust, the honesty, you know, being transparent, being real, you know, walking your talk, being who you say you are. Like, I know that is very well respected by Scorpios and for very good reason. You guys are really strong at holding that energy and it's very much needed in the world to be that divine reflection, that mirror, because it, it takes a great deal of strength when, the dominant, you know, vibration in, in the mainstream is to fear and to completely not stand in integrity in that sense. So this is like doing what you know to be true does lead to what you already feel it's going to. And so, so much beautiful divine intervention here and just support and strength for you to do what you need to do and you know you know what it is and these relationships that you're rebuilding are are so beautiful you know it's like when we overcome things together or when we rebuild it's it leads to a deepening of bonds the king of cups flipped out which is beautiful wise choices in love you know that wisdom having that that compassion for yourself and that was the queen of pentacles so let's clarify the nine of swords darkest fears We've got, oh, this one wanted to come out too. The moon and the knight of cups in reverse. So the moon again is, you know, is, is so appropriate with the nine of swords because it's, it's the stuff that's deep within us, the dark, you know, what we consider the dark, the things that we've kept hidden It's stuff in our subconscious, it's childhood wounds and programs and of, you know, guilt and shame and rejection and all those things that you know we're afraid of being seen in the light of day but truly those fears aren't rooted in love and so they're based on illusion and we are believing something that is holding us back from our you know from growing and so the knight of cups in reverse to me is it's telling me that as you're moving forward you know if you're not allowing yourself to express what's truly in your heart. You're not allowing yourself to move forward with your heart, you know, opening your heart and, and sharing what's truly in your heart, your dreams, that dreamy, romantic, sensual side, you know, the feminine side, the Knight of Cups is more feminine energy. It's very masculine, but it's, he's able to embody the feminine energy in a way that he's open and receptive to his divine guidance in a cre in the creativity, you know, the inspired dreamy dreams and creation and, you know, connecting with the life force energy and just being in that energy of charisma and charm and, you know, poetry and romance, just being in love with life. And so if we're not allowing ourselves to express that very natural aspect of ourselves, it can create like an energy of emotional imbalance and feeling moody and, you know, like we're 
like something's being held from us in a sense, but really it's just our own selves. It's letting go of resistance, letting go of the, you know, what anyone else thinks or feels and truly allowing yourself and honoring your own feelings and what you feel, you know, is in alignment with you and allowing yourself to express it, you know, to be that <clears throat> beautiful being that can move forward in love. It doesn't mean you have to wear your heart on your sleeve for everyone to see, you know, but it's not holding your self back just because someone might react, you know, it's like allow others to feel however they want to feel or react however they want to react because truly it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with how they perceive themselves. And so by you perceiving yourself in true unconditional love, you won't care what anyone else thinks and you'll honor your feelings and you'll, you'll align with what feels good for you moving forward because you're, you're not afraid to look at your fears and your dark and love yourself anyway. And that's very inspiring, you know, and allows you to heal. It allows you to learn more about yourself too, you know, learn more about your intuition and your gifts and what you came here to heal and, and to reveal, you know, in your, in your beautiful ways that you do, <laughs> your unique ways that you do. So let's clarify the emperor here. Taking the lead in your own life. Judgment. I love it. This is, you know, choosing to be authentic, be seen for who you are in the eyes of yourself and everyone, you know, in the world, the universe. It's like, this is me. Take it or leave it. You know, it's like if, if, if we don't love ourselves unconditionally, no matter what, then we can't expect anyone else to. And the thing is, is when we do and we're good with it, then we... You know, it's like when, when we let go of the, when we release the attachment of what others think, you know, it's, it allows us to just be, and we, we don't have those negative thoughts anymore. So our, we, our mood is always good. It's content. You know, we know how to stay focused on love and it's not a struggle. We don't, you know, we're not bogged down by any sort of fear-based energies, you know, because we realize that people are going to think what they think has nothing to do with us. If we can choose love, so can they, right? If they can, you know, it's like, it's easy to choose fear, I suppose. But when, once you become conscious of it, it's not, you, there's no going back. You're going to choose love. And so may as well just <laughs> stop fighting with ourselves and just be who we are. Right. And I see this, it's like so, um, empowering. There's so much empowerment here with this horn on fire, like you just, you know, your energy, your frequency radiating out, you know, and it's, it's like these people are in the shadows in a sense, like in the dark, but they're, they're coming out of the dark into the light, like on fire, you know, it's, it's like embracing and really feeling strong. They almost look like statues, you know, like a statue. It's like the strength. And again, the blue, I'm feeling a lot of the, the blue of just clarity and that deep comfort and strength and peace and, <clears throat> you know, power to speak your truth and like clearing out the mind and the throat chakra and the subconscious and like merging them together in this beautiful balance you know the yellow and the blue the light and the dark it's just like <clears throat> you get it you get it and you're moving forward in this in this beautiful growth spurt this spiritual awakening and and maturing of your level of self-mastery so that's very cool all right the three of wands the emperor look at that look at you scorpio the emperor twice really taking the lead this is this is a very empowering reading you guys are like psh, you're not messing around here okay this could also be um another influence in your life another type of divine masculine energy that's really supporting you and encouraging you to you know take the lead in your own life and if it's not this is you know definitely your higher self, your team saying, Hey, yeah, you know, this is, this is your time to truly embody your power and to rise and, you know, feel the empowerment and to reap the rewards of that, you know, of aligning with what's right for you and love and the highest good of all, you know, you are definitely a leader. Okay. So dedicated effort. 
Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So this, this is also something that as you focus on your gifts and talents, it's going to be something that really allows you to establish a beautiful foundation for yourself, your family. Um, there's a lot of abundance here and <clears throat> resourcefulness and feeling very grounded and able to <clears throat> take care of your, you know, yourself, your family, the bills, you know, your, your property, your garden, I, whatever you do, you know, it's like, you're able to truly, um, maintain your balance and have it all at the same time. Like there's this, this very beautiful, empowered, mature energy here that you guys are embodying, especially with the King of Swords. You know, this is, this is that beautiful honoring of your mind, like really being aware of what comes into your mind, the information that's coming in and choosing to stay in alignment with what is divine and integral and pure, you know, no distortion, no <clears throat> fear-based thoughts or energies. Like you're not messing around with that because your, your main intention, what's truly important to you is your solid foundation and the people you care about and nothing is going to stand in, in between that. And your higher self's like, absolutely right. You know, you lead with love, you know, you may be seen to others as like, tough love or maybe too harsh, but you're not there. You have a very good reason for why you stand in the, in your power the way you do. And it's for noble reasons, you know, for compassionate reasons, for reasons of <clears throat> nurturing what's important to you and not allowing anything to, to, you know, to manipulate that. So I really like that. And this could also be, um, other people in your life, you know, masculine or feminine energies that are here supporting you, you know, so that you're able to focus your time and energy on your gifts and talents, um, however it resonates with you. But there's a lot of support here energetically for you to, you know, really embody what you need to, when you need to, to stand in your power and to be the authority that you need to be. And, um, it's like, you're, you're very much, your guides, your team has your back. Okay. The universe has your back. So let's see four of wands because they want you to feel all this beautiful stability. You definitely deserve it. Three of swords. Okay. So it's really going to bring a lot of healing to any sort of past heartbreak or pain. It's going to allow you time to heal your heart and to release, you know, release the past and rebuild this energy of joy and stability. It's like the soul breaking through and radiating out and, you know, all that it comes into contact with is healing. You're going to be able to really heal and address anything. And I feel like it's not just for you, but it's with others as well. Let's get one for the tower. The five of wands. Okay. Let me clarify the five of wands as well. The three of cups. So there may be some disagreements and some conflict here between friends or family. So I feel like this is, you know, this tower, this unexpected event, whatever's happening, it is serving as a catalyst for healing, you know, and it's all about how we choose to perceive it. If we choose to see it as an opportunity to address, you know, whatever's causing the pain and heal it, then we rebuild and we create a foundation that's stable and harmonious and where everyone feels good and everyone benefits. And I see that's what's happening. You know, it's like <clears throat> sometimes things need to break down in order for us to see the truth of what's really going on or for us to really be shown what's important to us, you know, because it doesn't matter. The material world is temporary and things could happen. And what really matters is that we have each other, you know, that we are able to have each other's back and support each other no matter what happens, because that's where the true foundation lies is within our connections, you know, being able to support each other and communicate and <clears throat> work together and cooperate and focus on solutions and 
focus on how we can grow and learn together and nurture each other at the same time. It's, it's all designed that way. It's, you know, we're all self healing and self governing if we give ourselves a chance. And I feel like you're this beautiful, um, it's like you're a rock, you know, for your family, you're very strong energy and a natural born leader and someone who just has everyone's best interest at, at heart, you know? And so it's, it's like, it's okay for you to show your soft side, you know, and maybe you haven't been for a while because you've had to be really stern. I feel like you've had to just really hold your energy and it's been a lot, you know, but there's, there's this releasing of judgments and fears and allowing yourself to open up and, and heal your heart, you know, like it's like you're moving in the direction where you're getting to a place to prepare yourself for healing, you know, where you can be more vulnerable and open and all of that. So it's choosing to really take the lead and be the leader in your life. And that's, what's going to allow you to rebuild and, and really feel that sense of harmony and balance and stability and emotional well-being. you know, connection with friends and family or some sort of ego soul type of, you know, <clears throat> heart. It's, it's, it's about getting everyone heart to heart or not getting everyone, but it's about everyone coming together heart to heart versus, you know, ego to ego. So let's see, let's do some Oracle cards here and see what wants to come out. Let's see what the Ascended Masters want to tell you for this month. Yeah. This message. Stay focused. Kuthini. Positive change. Okay. So we've got stay focused, positive change. So this month, you know, it's like you still have some challenges and things that are coming, but it's leading all to a beautiful outcome here. It's going to be positive, a change for the better. It's going to release that heavy energy of the past. <clears throat> Drink more water is really going to help you stay um, grounded and feeling secure in your energy because if we're dehydrated our body our cells they are in a state of fear because they're afraid of dying because <laughs> they need water so it, just drinking water alone keeping yourself hydrated will allow you to stay in this leader role more effortlessly okay it's also going to allow you to process things and keep your energies flowing consistently um because it takes a lot of energy for you sometimes for us to like really stand in our power sometimes, especially as a, the emperor here twice. Like I feel like you have, you know, responsibility. And so it's important for you to just feel as good as possible. So drinking more water. Um, Oshun is a, a goddess of relationships and harmony and balance between people. So she's, she's all about nurturing the aspects of ourselves that really improve our relationships and water is life. You know, it's like, paying attention to the bigger picture and making sure that you're nourished, that you're clear, um, staying focused on what really matters to you and knowing that it's, it's all for the best, you know, it's positive changes for all involved here. Let's get, let's get one from divination of the ancients. runes perception this energy has been coming out quite a bit the perception um, for everyone so runes perception it's important to see things a little differently right now imagine yourself in the place of those who appear to be confronting you your words or your actions perhaps rather than taking this as a sign of their displeasure or dislike of what you're doing see their words as an opportunity to improve the situation by being more open-minded. Perhaps their actions will actually provide you with an even stronger, more robust idea about how to proceed. <clears throat> the runes are a reminder that in one single toss, you can choose a very different outcome. Those that seem to be your enemies can often deliver the most useful lessons in life. How I perceived caused me to fall, and so the writings on the wall, lessons in all I shall embrace, and see the good in all I face. 
Don't be so quick to judge. See the situation from all angles. There's a lesson to be learned. Understand someone else's point of view. You are study runes for spiritual growth and understanding. Okay, so <clears throat> this, you know, it feels like this five of swords or five of wands, three of swords energy. It's like choosing to see things through the eyes of unconditional love and understand that we're all on our own journey here and that we're all here to grow, you know, ultimately our soul is here to grow and evolve and we are all unconditional love, creator, life force, energy at the core. And so our only responsibility is for our own path and staying true to us. We, we have no control over anyone else's perception of us or how they choose to go about things. That's between them and their higher self. And everyone has one. Everyone has angels and guides just like we do. And so it's allowing others to their path and it's responding from that place within you that your higher self from unconditional love to all things, to all people, to seeing all things as aspects of yourself. And what can I do to benefit this situation right now? When, you're, when your perception is rooted in benefiting, when it's rooted in love, what would love do? <clears throat> what would be the highest good for this situation? You'll just know intuitively what to do. It'll just come out naturally. You won't even have to think about it, really. It's just going to be there already. So I feel like this is beautiful because you're really expanding your consciousness and, and integrating the wisdom that you've learned from the past and being able to now apply it moving forward in a way that's like tangible. It's like you're going to see how it's benefiting right before your eyes and how it's changing the course of the future for the highest good of all. It's really going to be beautiful and you're going to see like how things can heal in a whole new way. You're going to see people healed instead of hurt. You're going to, you're going to project healing instead of, you know, it's like, it just shifts everything. Okay. So let's, let's get a couple from the messenger Oracle. <clears throat> this is a new deck I got. I'm really enjoying it. It's really, really great. <laughs> We've got share your thoughts. Number 41 time to reflect number 16 oh, or number 46. Oh, these cards are so beautiful. And a new day dawns. Look at that. So time to reflect and share your thoughts. I love how this is coming out. It's like, as you reflect on your thoughts, your perceptions, this beautiful new energy is emerging. It's like you're able to release and break through and this beautiful energy of your soul is emerging and able to express in a whole new way. It's just so beautiful. I see the duality here like merging as, you know, equal and equally beautiful and divine and being able to see the good and the bad and the bad and the good. It's like, having that clear perspective of <clears throat> your own truth and allowing others to have theirs. It's like seeing, seeing all as an aspect of you and how you can respond, you know, as the love that you are. So feel like really feel into your journey and, and, Look at how far you've come, you know, because you are, you are a leader. You have, you have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of experience. So I feel like it's time to reflect on like how far you've come, how much um, you have grown, how much you've achieved, how much you've um, succeeded in life, you know, that you've, you've overcome so many things. I can feel it. You have this strength to you. So it's like finding the gratitude in your journey for having the strength, finding the gratitude for the wisdom, the lessons that have, you know, presented themselves and that you've chosen to grow from. It's like sharing your thoughts. Maybe in the past, it wasn't something you always did. You kept more quiet or to yourself, but as you are really stepping into your power and feeling good in your, within yourself, and healing your heart and feeling, you know, able to open up again. Um, I feel this energy of you really feeling good again about 
sharing who you are and being able to share your stories and your your hopes, your dreams, you know, what it is that you want to manifest. And, you know, like with the Knight of Cups here, it's like, I feel like in the past it was hard for you to, to kind of share. Um, maybe there were, you know, just relationships or situations where you couldn't share because things were manipulated or taken advantage of. Like, I just feel like it wasn't because you didn't want to share. It's just that you felt that it wouldn't, it would only create some sort of disharmony for you in a sense. So it's like, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You know, it's, it's knowing that you can actually speak to your higher self, to the frequency of unconditional love, to others who share that same perspective. And when you do, you know, it's safe you know, that it's safe for you to share and explore because no one's there to, um, you know, everyone's aligned to their higher self and knows that what's meant for them is them. No one, there's, it's like you can let go of any sort of fear-based thoughts, you know, of being sabotaged or any of that, you know? So I just, I feel like this is a beautiful connect, like a lot of connection energy, a lot of balance and a new day dawns. It's a new beginning. You know, it's time to truly, be who you came here to be and to express all of the beautiful qualities that you are. So I really like this, this message It's very powerful here. And we've got, you know, like the dragon and the reflection. It's just beautiful. Okay. So stay focused on just what's right in front of you right now. What's important to you. What's most important to you. And just know that you're, you're guided every step and, and being supported with whatever you need at this time to move forward. Okay. Let's get one from the sacred rebels. Or Scorpio, please. All right. There it is. Pandora's gift. I love it. This is so beautiful for you. I'm going to read this card to you and it's a 45, which is a nine. Okay. So it's like, it's beautiful. Okay. Let me find it here. <laughs> There's a mythic woman much maligned throughout history whose name means all gifted. Pandora lives within us as our curious nature yearning to conquer chaos, evil, and darkness with the light of knowledge. She is the hopeful voice of our soul that asks the questions and in doing so triggers the process that brings the answers. Sometimes it's through uncomfortable learning that we find our treasure. Pandora reminds us that the process of learning can take us to places that seem like the end of our world and yet all is not lost. Even now the light within you is stirring for new revelation, new life, and new adventure. Pandora is all gifted and all giving. Her presence invites you to forego your belief and judgment. Now is the time to surrender the misplaced guilt that you may have brought upon yourself or another, some terrible happening. It is time to let go of the shame-based belief and punishment. This is a belief that you deserve to be brought to task over any perceived imperfection or that your natural human journey somehow renders you inadequate. Pandora frees the soul from such torment. This is her gift. The human journey necessarily involves learning through experience. There is no shame in your learning process. Pandora's presence is the sign of a new time, a time to swap the notion of inherent shame for the acceptance of inherent divinity. From this moment on, how unstoppable you shall become. Sacred rebellion is happening within your soul as a powerful uprising towards liberation. You are breaking free from the weighty criticisms of the world, from the power games that bore you senseless, and from the insanity of sacrilegious priorities in this world. Dare to disobey anything and everything that is not divine. Pandora is the leader of your soul revolution. She defies the vicious judgments of history and all that has been said about her. She shrugs off misery, despair, and the weight of the world to recognize that she is the bearer of the true and beautiful light of peace, comfort, hope, and reassurance. With her oracle comes the realization that you too are a divinely defiant believer in hope who shall cast off the works of anyone who seeks to torment you. As this shift takes place, you shall dare to look within your own being and find the light. 
You are being put on divine notice from the sacred feminine that there is a talent and ability within you that needs to be acknowledged. There is a worthy seed of something beautiful and necessary within you. If you choose to develop and express this seed step by step, it will become an extraordinary light in your life and in the world. So poke your tongue out at the naysayers and turn your attention to the bright hope within. You were born to strut your soul stuff. <laughs> you definitely were. You were definitely born to strut your soul stuff. I mean, taking the lead, the leader that you are, just here is the emperor, very powerful, very strong. You are, you know, this is your time to really feel good in your energy and embody the light that you truly are. And I think this is amazing. Pandora's gift is amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful message. So I truly hope this message resonated with you guys and that it brought some affirmation and just comfort and guidance and wisdom moving forward. Um, thank you so much for tuning in with me. I'll be back again next month for another message, maybe sooner. We'll see. Um, and again, if you want to connect with me or receive a personal reading, um, all of those links are down below in the description, you guys. Thank you again so, so much. I love you all, and I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you, Scorpio. All my infinite love as always. Peace out. Peace in. Peace out.